If you're an AutoCAD user, you're probably familiar with the Wipeout tool, which lets you hide objects using an invisible mask. You might also know about the XClip tool, which allows you to create a boundary and crop portions of an external reference, displaying only the selected area within your drawing. So, can we achieve something similar in Revit? Let's find out. In Revit, you can create a similar effect on imported CAD links. For context, I have a large project that's been split into two parts. The scope of work for this project only pertains to the lower half of the building, so that's the only portion I've modelled. However, the top half still needs to be shown in the documentation, but modelling it is unnecessary and inefficient. Instead, I've loaded the as-built drawing in DWG format. Once the import is loaded, it's visible in both the top and bottom halves of the project, which is obviously not ideal because it causes confusion. So the question is, how can I clip the imported CAD reference? Well, start by duplicating the view as dependent. Do this twice. In Revit, when duplicating views as dependent, it links the dependent views back to the original parent view, thus keeping all the annotations, dimensions and other elements consistent across them. Any changes I make in one view will be automatically reflected in the others, helping us maintain coordination. This is typically used for large projects, but in this case, we're re-engineering the technique to help us clip the CAD import. Let's see how this plays out. Rename each of the dependent views as North and South, corresponding to the halves of the building. You'll notice that I've pre-drawn two orange scope boxes, one for each dependent view, and each scope box is named according to its view. Make sure there's a good amount of overlap in between the boxes. This will help when we stitch the views together. Now I can apply the scope box constraints to the views, which will thus split the plan in half. If you watch my videos consistently, you'll know that I'm a strong advocate for view templates, and I've applied them here. Since I'm working with dependent views, the attributes of the dependent view carry over, meaning that if I were to override the import categories to hide the CAD link, it would hide it in all the dependent views, which is not what we want. So how do we get around this? The solution is simpler than you might think. Just use the Hide in View tool. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of this tool because it's so often misused as a quick fix, but in this case, it's a perfectly viable option. As you can see, this hides the CAD reference in the southern view while keeping it visible in the northern view. To finish, I'll add a match line to the overall drawing. The match line tool in Revit is used to indicate where a view, such as a floor plan, has been split across multiple dependent views. The match line should be located in the overlap zone so that it's visible in both dependent views. You can also tag the match line for tracking and coordination purposes. Now I can assemble the completed plan on a sheet. Starting with the north dependent view, I'll turn off the view marker. Then I'll add the southern half. Revit helps us align the views vertically by providing a snap line.
To align them horizontally, I'll use the match line and the move tool using the snaps to ensure perfect alignment. Next, I'll verify everything by checking the tags, making sure that I've assembled the plan correctly. Finally, I'll close this out by printing to PDF. In the print options, make sure to select Hide Crop Boundaries for a clean result. And here is the final solution.